This is the matador bug, a tropical insect that loves to snack on passion fruit plants in Panama and has these large, brightly colored legs that we initially thought might have evolved as sexual signals. My name is Umad Samji. I'm an evolutionary biologist and a fellow at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. And five years ago, while I was working on a different project in the forest, I saw one of these beautiful bugs land on a leaf and then it lifted its leg and waved it. And then it lifted its other leg and it waved it. And it was really startling. I was really curious as to why it was doing this. And when we looked it up in the literature, we couldn't find any um, description of this behavior. Nobody had studied this behavior before. Why do these bugs have these huge legs and why do they wave them? We often think of dramatic and conspicuous traits in animals like the ornate plumage and alluring dances of many male birds as being driven by mating competition. In birds, for example, one sex typically invests more in these conspicuous traits and behaviors. But in the case of these bugs, we found that both sexes invest equally into these large and colorful legs. We also observed these insects develop these brightly colored traits as juveniles, which would be unlikely if these legs functioned for mate competition. So this suggests that sexual selection may not necessarily be the primary driver of the evolution of these signals. Now that we know that their colorful legs are not used primarily for mate competition, this is really just the beginning. The mystery has deepened. We have more questions than answers. What do matador bugs use their legs for? Why are they so colorful? How do they navigate and fly with these large structures? These are a few of the new questions that arise from our research. There are no doubt many more secrets the matador bug has in store.